African. How come the Africans didn't come over here and say, give me back my children? Right. That's not our people. Those are not our people. Just because we're all dark does not mean we are the same people. Bring it up. Some of them Egyptians. Some of them Ethiopians. Some of them Canaanites. Some of them Chaldeans. We are not the same people. All white people, because they look alike, are not the same people. Chinese people, Japanese people, two different people. They look alike, but we not the same. What's love? So, love is works. How do we prove what love is? Let's prove what love is. Because everything we do and say, we gotta be able to bring it out of here. Right. Right? Because this is this is what was given to us, right? This this is what we exist. This is this is what they gave us and told us to follow East out of, right? So we gotta be able to go here and be able to explain what these different terms are. My brother, don't walk off. I know you got some questions. I'm gonna answer for you. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not grievous. We love God by following his commandments. That's right. So if you ever see any entity keeping God's commandments, then you know that's the true Christ. Those are the true prophets. Anybody that's coming out of this Bible and twisting it and making it seem like something that's not out of here, those are the false Christ. Those are fake right. Christ. That's how you tell the difference, sister. Bring it up. Listen, Easter has been twisted. You understand that? Let's go to, to Passover. Let's continue reading about Passover. Read. Exodus, chapter, chapter 12 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. You hear that? This month shall be the beginning of months. What's the beginning of months? In America, what do we say the beginning of months are or the new year? When is the new year? January. Is that true? Is that true? In the world. We learned that in the world. We also learned what else in the world? We learned how to follow Easter in the world. That's right. So the Lord said, this month shall be the beginning of months unto you. What month is that? How do we celebrate the He's telling you right here, right now. Read. This shall be the beginning of months unto you. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb. So you got to also think about this. When things are new, right? When things are beginning, what does it do? It, it grows, right? A baby, a new baby does what? It grows. When you look at the grass, when it turns green and begins to grow, what time of year does it happen in? Does it happen in winter? That's not the beginning. He's talking about the beginning, right? Things grow in the beginning. In the winter, that is the dead. That's the dead time of the year. You got it's freezing, it's frigid, nothing's growing. The Lord said this time of the year, where we celebrate Passover, we celebrate it for this particular time because a particular event happened in Egypt to the children of Israel. Did you know you were an Israelite according to the Bible? What tribe are you from? Judah, you don't understand that? Good. You ask some good questions. You don't understand that. So what we're gonna do is that's okay, we're going to convince you through the, the through the word of God. Let's go, let's drop Passover for a minute, get you up to speed to let you know you're an Israelite, and then we'll jump back to Passover. Deuteronomy 28. Because the, the Lord oh. said a certain and particular thing will happen to the children of Israel. First go to uh, Daniel 9. Daniel 9 and 11. A, a particular thing will happen to us that wouldn't happen to nobody else. And these things that happen to us or the Israelites is going to let you know in the last days who you truly are. Because in these last days, have we not forgotten our heritage? Like, they tell us in school, they tell us that our history starts during slavery. Where were we before this? What happened to us before this? Do you know of any of our history before this happened? You don't? Good. And that's because the Lord said that what happened to you. And that he will come and bring his prophets, his true prophets, to remind you of who you are. With his word that he spoke. I agree. Yay, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the point that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. We are suffering a curse. The children of Israel are suffering curses. Read. 
and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a quick evil. For under the whole heaven, this is under the whole earth, under the whole heaven is under the whole earth. We, for under the whole heaven have not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. So, we are the children who can see it from Jerusalem. Think about history. You know some history, right? You know a little bit of history. They taught you history in school. February, they always celebrate black history. They teach us in our history that this is what happens to us, right? Who else did this happen to? Come look. Come take a closer look. What's happening over here? What's going on? Look down here with this alligator and that baby. What, what, what's, what's that going on? What's going on right there? You know anything about how they made gator shoes or how they caught alligators back in the day? They used our babies as baits. Our babies were called gator baits. Right, they set our baby on the beach or on the swamp and allow the gator to come out and clap. And once they clap the, the baby, you know what? That's how they would be able to get the alligator. Who else did that happen to? Where else in recording history can you find anybody else baby being used alligator baby? Under the whole heaven, that hasn't happened to anybody. Look at this. What's on his face? What type of man? You know what's in that mask? The spikes. It's to prevent you from running. Because you know when you run, you, you jostle your head. And if you jostle your head against that, those metal spikes, it's going to stab you. So it's designed to keep you still. Look at that. That's fun. Look at his back. What happened to his back? What's that the result of? Beating with a whip. Beating with tools that you use on animals. Who under the heaven has suffered in recording history this fate? Who is that? Who else? His people. You are his people. That happened to you. Absolutely. You are your ancestors. We, we are who we descend from. Look, look at this boat. What do you see on this boat? Where they going on a, a holiday cruise? Yeah, what, are they, what, what are they doing? Where, where are they going? They're going into slavery. Let's, let's read, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not hearken, meaning if you will not listen, you children of Israel, you blessed Hispanics and Native Indians, some things were going to happen to you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. You have to do all of the Lord's commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Everything this sister just looked at on this side, they are curses that would happen to the children of Israel if they didn't keep God's commandments. Verse 32, Thy son and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. You hear what that just said? Thy sons and what? And thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? We got given to the government. To the government. In what capacity are our children given to the government? How are our children given to the government? Well, they control it. How? So how do, how do they get our children? How do they get our children? How do they get our children? Okay, that's one way. What's another way? Think about these times. When they got off that boat, what happened to our families? Did we have the ability, if I had me a wife and children, that I had a power and a strength and a might to say, no, you can't take them over there to that next city. What power did I have to make my family stay together? Did I have power to do that? Who else in the world did that happen to? Jesus didn't have his family taken apart. Jesus did not have his family taken away from him. I'm saying, 
that our families were split apart. Did we or anybody else that you know of in history, well not us, did anybody else that you know of in history have the, their family split up and taken from them? Right. So the Bible is pointing to several clues to show you who you are based off of your history. That's what we're trying to reveal to you, sis. Israelites are scattered all over the world. Let's continue to read. We're going to show you through the curses who the Israelites are. Right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All we can do is look at rock. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There shall be no might in your hand. So who else had their children taken away from them besides the children of Israel? Back when we came off of these boats, we had our children split up. We had no power, we had no might. Where's our right, army? Bring it up. Where was our army to go and get our children? Right. If we African, how come the Africans didn't come over here and say, give me back my children? Right. That's not our people. That's not our people. Those are not our people. Just because we're all dark does not mean we are the same people. Bring it up. Some of them Egyptians. Some of them Ethiopians, some of them Canaanites, some of them Chaldeans. We are not the same people. All white people, because they look alike, are not the same people. Chinese people, Japanese people, two different people. They look alike, but we not the same. Bring it out. This is the Bible Compact, the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. This is Ham. Ham are the Africans. Okay, that's the biblical name to some of the African nations, right? right? Three. The youngest son of Noah. You know the story of Noah, the history of Noah? Mm -hmm. Who was Noah? He made the ark. He was obedient to the Lord. You know what we're building right now? You know what we're building right now? Uh, me, 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 simply, me simply reading this Bible to you and serving God, you know what I'm building? I'm building today's ark. This is the ark we build it right now. We build it Noah's ark. You know what Noah did? Noah preached for a hundred years. Repent. The same thing we out here teaching our people to keep the laws of God, the same thing Noah was doing. He built the ark before then, it never rained. They looked at him like he was crazy. He was doing something, preparing for something that they never knew was going to happen. Right now, we're preparing for something that we don't think is going to happen. We know what's going to happen. The Lord told us what's going to happen. Right. Watch, read. This is him, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, mm -hmm. and one of eight persons to live through the flood. So the Lord, he is the master body count, right? He's the master body count. He killed the whole entire world, but saved only eight. Ham is one of those eight. Read. He became the progenitor. He became, or he became the father of? Of the dark races. The dark races. You know a lot of dark races. We got dark races in India. We got dark races in China. We got dark races down in Mexico. We got dark races here. But which specific dark races is Ham the father or the progenitor to? Bring it out. Not the Negro. Now who? Not the Negro. We the Negroes. There's a separation between the children of him and us. That's the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. All right? He's reading the definition of him. Was that it? But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, his independence was... You hear that? He's the father of those different African nations, but not us. We look alike, but we're not the same. The Lord said there's a difference between us. Bring it out. 
Let's go back because I told her we built an ark. During the time of Noah, we said that the Lord is going to flood this place. He's going to destroy this place. Nuclear warfare is prophesied in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah 28 and 8. Yes, you earlier stated that how do you know the difference between, absolutely, the, the, that's a commandment. The Lord said to study. Listen, earlier you said how do you know the difference between a false prophet and a false Christ? This is one of the ways. 28 and 8. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 28 and verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me. The who? The prophets that have been before me. These are prophets of God standing here right now. Yes. And what have they done? Just like we're doing? What? And before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. They did what? Prophesied both against many countries. You understand that? They prophesied of many countries. Or they told of what was, was to happen or to occur to many countries. Right. They're meeting their destruction. Really. And against great kingdoms. Against great kingdoms. Against all the kingdoms of the earth. Right. We will prophesy and let you know that the end is near. Right. The destruction right. is coming. Right. You know that salvation it is here before you today. Right. Do not go off into the world continuing as you have been doing. That's right. That's Otherwise, right. you will be caught up in the destruction. That's right. While people are going about their day-to-day -day lives worshiping idols, right. worshiping themselves, worshiping men, worshiping false ideas, and not the true God. That's the true right. God that causes you to breathe. Right. The true God that causes you to be healthy. Right. The true God that causes you to be wealthy. Right. Right. None of you are here on your own fruition. None of you are here to do your own bidding. You are here to do what the Lord commanded you to do, and none of you want to do it. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.